Okay, today I want to talk about selective breeding and this uh, is where everything begins. Um, it's a three gallon Mr. Aqua bookshelf tank. It is, um, it has very minimal amount of decorations, uh, but inch and a half of substrate, couple of rocks, these are petrified wood actually, a uh, small amount of plant and a um, piece of driftwood. The rest would be just shrimp and water and sponge filter. That's a 2892 on Amazon. It's the size of that uh, sponge. The tank is about 18 inch wide and about six inch tall. So it's a perfect size for this purpose. Um, it can be, there can be more than maybe four or five adult shrimps in there. And um, which is great uh, because that's all we need for this purpose. Uh, one male and about maybe four females and uh, and I tell you how that part happens in a second. I use this a lot for, I just reset these things, so I, I thought it's a good opportunity to show you guys. There's another size of tank I use. This is the, again, from Mr. Aqua, and it is, uh, a little smaller it says one and a half gallon but it is it isn't it's actually two gallon up to that point uh, that i filled it's about 12 inch wide and maybe five inch four inch tall and uh, the same theory except these are good only for about maybe two to three shrimps adult shrimps no more anything more than that and It'll be too crowded. These tanks were um, reset and they have been um, cycling for a couple of weeks and they're ready. As you see, there's a good amount of bacteria on the surface and any food I put in there it gets uh, fuzzy, so that means they're ready to go. Uh, this is another size of tank. You could use these two. These are seven gallon cube. And you can put more shrimps in here. They can hold f about maybe eight or nine shrimp adults safely, and they can breed in there. I use them for situations like and I have a group that I like their color or patterns and I use those now these are cycling tanks they're 9.1 gallon and they're about 23.8 inch wide and um, they're the perfect perfect colony community tank they're tall enough but still low profile. They have, um, the shape is perfection because it gives opportunity for shrimps to hide from one another if they need to, be on each side of the tank. I will put a couple more plants in there, but um, I don't overwhelm my tanks with plants. That's as far as it goes. So none of the, the process we're doing now is of course not for these tanks, not even for cubes. I'm trying to set up these smaller um, breeding tanks, the three gallons and the two gallon. So I picked some shrimp, some galaxy earlier and uh, they are all here the 
as you can see they're very nice they're adult ready to breed some of them bred before but they were in the community tank waiting they may have bred there too but when I need them to breed a certain pattern that's the process um, I know the genetics of each one so there are no surprises here um, I don't have any boas here but um, some of the combination here do produce boas because boa comes from two fish bones who have had parents which were both fish bones that's how you create boa and I know the genetics of this so some of them will but um, the goal is to create a more high grade galaxy I will set them up and do a part two they will go to these tanks in each tank one male and about four females and on the little ones I will put one male and one female or two females that's about it stay tuned